There are only 20 verses in the entire New Testament that even mention Mary's name. Nowhere does the Bible teach that all grace from Jesus comes to us through Mary. Nowhere does the Bible say that if we really want our prayers to be answered, we should go to Mary. And nowhere does the Bible say Mary's powers extend even to our salvation. Rather, the Bible says, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, since we have a great high priest, Jesus, the Son of God, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. It's not because of Mary, but because of Jesus that the Bible says, we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. The Bible teaches that only through Jesus can we draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith. God sent Christ into our world for the very purpose of being the unique mediator between God and us. According to the Bible, as far as God is concerned, there is no other way to come to Him. There are no secondary ways, side ways, subordinate ways, only Jesus. Jesus Himself said, No man comes to the Father but through me, John 14, 6. This is the whole point of Hebrews chapter 7 where we read, Now there have been many of those priests since death prevented them from continuing in office. But because Jesus lives forever, He has a permanent priesthood. Therefore, He is able to save completely those who come to God through Him because He always lives to intercede for them. At the same time, while official Catholic dogma agrees that there is no mediator like Jesus Christ, still Mary plays a subordinate role with Christ in salvation. She is a subordinate mediator. In fact, Catholic theologians will say, all Christians play some subordinate role in mediating the gospel. If another Christian asks you to pray for him, don't you pray for him? And in a subordinate sense, aren't you representing man to God through your prayer then? You're a subordinate mediator. And second, aren't Christians asked by God to go and preach the gospel? And when you proclaim the gospel, aren't you representing God to man? In this sense, aren't all believers called to be mediators? Well, this is biblically true. And this is the sense in which Catholicism argues that Mary should also be seen as a mediator. Certainly, she is not as much a mediator as Christ, they will say, but she is not as little a mediator as the rest of us. 